So Utah Republicans voted overwhelmingly, of course, for Ted Cruz in March's caucus night voting. That victory was closely tied to the Stop Trump movement. Political specialist Lad Egan joins us this afternoon in our newsroom, breaking down exactly what will happen now. So Lad, will Utahns vote for Trump come November? Yeah, hey, you know, that's the big question. Polls show the billionaire not popular here in Utah due to his boisterous style and positions on immigrants. In fact, a KSL News, Deseret News poll from March showed the dislike for Trump running so deep here in Utah that the state would rather vote a Democrat for president in November. That would be for the first time in 50 years. But the man in charge of the group, Utahns for Trump, says that will change and that GOP voters will unite behind Trump. The only hope for Republicans to win is to be able to bring out the Reagan Democrats. And candidly, that's what Trump's doing. And a lot of my buddies are blue collar guys and they respond to the way that Trump talks to them. And candidly, the way Mitt talked, they don't respond so well. Some Republican leaders remain deeply wary of Trump and have insisted they could never support him, even in a face-off against Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Americans who vote in general elections are generally more diverse and more likely to be women than in those primaries. These groups traditionally favor Democrats, and some predict they could even lean more that way given Trump's comments on immigration and women. So we're just getting started a long road to November. We will wait and see what happens. Certainly big news in the race for president on this Wednesday afternoon, our thanks to Lad Egan.